Everyone, my name is Wen Ming, and I'm very happy to be here to have the opportunity to share technology with you and the Apache conference. Today, I want to share about uh, share with you how to implement plugin orchestration in the API gateway of uh, Apache API 6. First, let me introduce myself. Uh, I come from China. I'm the co-founder of API 7. API 7 is a Chinese startup company. And I'm the VP and the PMC member of the open source project Apache API 6. I'm also the committer of Apache Skywalking. In addition, I'm the founder of the Chihou 360 open source committee, Tencent Cloud TVP, and a TOC member of the TAS Foundation. I have more than 40 security patterns. OK. In today's topic, I will introduce four parts. First, it will be a brief introduction of Apache API 6. What is Apache API 6? And uh, what can Apache API 6 help us to deal with? The second part is the customer development in the API Gateway. And the third part is the plugin in Apache API 6. How can we economically generate the plugin in Apache API 6? And the last part is some thoughts on the future of API Gateway. And uh, first of all, let me briefly introduce of Apache API 6. In one sentence, it's a cloud native API gateway. Here is a repo address of API 6 on GitHub. API 6 is a very young project. It was open sourced in June last year and donated to Apache Incubator in October. In July this year, API 6 graduated from Apache Incubator and became a top-level project. API 6 is a fast-growing community. It only took nine months. For developers who are not familiar with Apache API 6, you can simply think API 6 is an enhanced version of Nginx which covers all features of Nginx while using Lula. Lula bring more dynamic features to Nginx. Uh, it bring Nginx into a very powerful API gateway. The biggest feature of API 6 is, uh, API 6 is for dynamic, including routing, SSL search, plugin. In API 6, all features are dynamically config through the uh, admin API without restart the service and all. In API 6, users' business needs are all realized by using Lula to develop plugins. API 6 has more than 40 built-in plugins, including author, limit rate, limit request, security, log, observability, which basically covers all the features that users may use in the enterprise. So let's take a look and uh, what can API 6 do for you? API 6 can handle L4 and L7 traffic, include HTTP, HTTPS, TCP, UDP, MQTT, and some other protocols. Because API 6 is based on Nginx, so you can use it, uh, API 6 instead of Nginx to handle the north source traffic. And at the same time, API 6 can also handle the traffic between microservice well. So you can use it, to, uh, use it to replace Envoy. We also have some users who use API 6 as a Kubernetes ingress controller. At the same time, with the help of API 6, MQTT plugin, 
we can also use API 6 as an IoT gateway. I'll use the IDP plugin to turn API 6 into a zero trust gateway. So API 6 is more concerned about the power of the gateway itself. Through plugin, user can turn API 6 into uh, various gateways required by their business. And this is a technology architecture of API 6. From this picture, we can say that API 6 has two parts. Uh, the left one is the data plan, and the right one is the control plan. First, let's take a look at the data plan. After the user request is proceeded through API 6, it can be passed to the private API, public API, or the Panthers API. Inside uh, API 6, plugins are built in with a way similar to the Lego bricks. You can easily remove or add a plugin without restart the service. Then let's take a look at the control plan. In the control plan, the administrator can write the configurations to the ETCD cluster through the admin API. Then the admin API data plan will watch ETCD. So the configurations can reach all data plans without, within one milliseconds. After the node of the data plan proceeds the data, they then report some metrics and log data to compose some like, uh, such as uh, scale working, plume shows, extra. From this picture, we can also see that API 6 only relies on ETCD. Yes, only ETCD. And it doesn't have any RDS like MySQL or Postgres. Therefore, API 6 is better designed for high availability. At the same time, uh, API 6 is uh, architecture will be simple convenient for deploying and ops. This picture is the landscape of uh, Apache API 6. Looking at it from the left, API 6 supports many L4 and uh, L7 protocols. It's not only support traffic from the browsers and the mobile APPs, but it also supports IoT drivers to report traffic to API 6. API 6 also supports many service discovery centers. For example, the ETCD uh, console, NACOS. As a very important uh, infrastructure software, API Gateway is generally placed under the entrance of the traffic. Therefore, it's not only needs to proceed our request from client, but it also needs to connect to some backend services. For example, the Skywalking, Datadog, Kafka. At the bottom of the picture, API 6 not only supports running on bare metal, but also on services in various public cloud. For example, the Google AWS. We also support running on the ARM platform. Okay. The part one is a brief introduction to API 6. And then in the part two, I will introduce the development of customer plugins in API Gateway. Customer development is a very important point when we use open source API gateways, and it has a high bar. The gateway is not a software that can be used out of the box. This is different from database and the message queen. MQ and the database can be used directly after we essential them on our machine, but the API gateway is not. 
This is because the gateway more or less customer development is required. For example, if your company has some old systems or some special protocols, such as some protocols in the fantasy or the security industry, you need to do some transcode and the gateway level. On the other hand, also API Gateway provides more than 40 plugins. It is definitely unable to meet all the needs from the enterprise because each company has his own unique needs. So we often need to do some customer development of the existing plugins to meet our needs. This is actually a big problem because plugin development still requires more skills. And at least you need a programmer. For plugin development, different open source projects have the different solutions. Uh, let's take a look at Kong first. Kong is a well known API gateway project. It's five years old. Kong's technology stack is basically the same as API 6, and both of them are implemented based on Nginx and Lula. But the technology architecture of Kong is not the same as API 6. Kong is based on RDS, such as Postgre and Cassandra. And API 6 uses etcd. API 6 solution is closer to Kubernetes and the cloud native. Uh, the common point of Kong and API 6 is that developers need to use Lula to develop plugins. Lula is not a popular programming language, and many developers are not familiar with Lula. Also, Lula itself is very simple. So besides making the plugin simple, what better solution is there? Kong's solution is to support Golang to write plugins. This approach with, uh, attracts more Go developers to write plugins to meet the customer needs of his own company. This is a good idea, but on the other hand, Kong is natively implemented based on Nginx and Lula. And the plugins write, uh, written in Golang actually need to call another process, which will have a um, cross process communication, which have the performance issue. Let's take a look then at the second one, which is also a very, uh, a very well known open source project focused on the data plan project. It, uh, Envoy. Envoy can process the east and the west traffic, which is written in C++. So Envoy's plugin is naturally implanted in C++ too. So it's not easy to get started. Envoy also supports other languages for development. For example, Envoy supports Lula filter. And the Lula filter has the same problem as Kong. That is, there are few developers familiar with Lula. So Envoy also supports WASM, which can uh, attract more other language developers to write plugins. This solution is not perfect. And the stability and the performance of WASM still need more time to improve. The solution of Kong and Envoy are the same. They hope to attract more developers to have the ability to develop plugins whether they use Golang, Lula, or WSM. So back to API 6, we hope to find a stable bullet. So uh, what does this stable bullet look like? We think that under the gateway level, the following two problems must be solved. First, to resolve the problem of the customer development. First, the first one is the 
is that many plugins need to be development are actually simple. Yes, they are really simple. How to reuse the exist 14 open source plugin? And the second one is uh, to allow the demand side of the gateway in the enterprise, such as product managers, ops, and the security team to implement, to implement their own needs on the gateway with as little cost as possible. It will be best if no need to write any code. So if we can solve their, po their two problems, then we have the opportunity to let more people, not just developers, be able to develop the new plugin for the API gateway. First, let's look at the first problem is how to solve the reuse of exist plugins. Microservices are already a very popular technology. So can we introduce this concept into API Gateway plugins? We can make each plugin only do one feature, just like a microservice, which is also the same the design of the process in Linux. Therefore, we have a proposed a concept called micro plugin. Each of plugins only do an independent feature. Then we need to design similar to Linux pipe to connect their micro plugins. Uh, for example, I'm first call a URI block uh, plugin. After this call is finished, I will judge whether the URI is really blocked it. If it is blocked it, then continue to call another Kafka plugin. Use this type of uh, method. These plugins can be connected. Apache API 6 now has more than 40 plugins. The permutation of more than 40 plugins have unlimited possibilities enough to meet users' need. But the problem now is that all API gateways that have been open sourced, the plugin does not share contact and cannot cooperate with each other. So we need to connect their plugin together. Only by doing this, we can solve the problems of plugin reuse with micro plugin. Okay, next. The second problem is after we have the micro plugin, how can we reduce the development cost of API gateways new plugin to zero as soon as much as possible? We hope that uh, for non-developers, that is the PM security who have no technology backend and uh, do not uh, how to program they can realize their needs without development because they understand our needs best. And at the same time, they will lower the bar for API Gateway development, allow more and more people contribute to API Gateway. If we use a slogan that will be from creativity to creation, we can not only write our own ideas into documentation for developers, but also directly to create a new plugin. That sounds look, uh, this sounds like a good idea, uh, but uh, can we really realize it? In fact, we can jump out the technology thinking and to say how other interactions are solved this problem. For example, in the process engine of the medical industry, they are built in, in, uh, in the GUI way because the users in the medical are doctors. Then, the goal for children is the uh, same. You can use a limited number of the building blockers 
to build an imitated number of the possible shapes. So let me put the GUI and the Legal idea together. Then we can see that it's actually Scratch, which is the children learn the programming. So the bar will be very low. Based on the previously two problems we solved, API 6 uniquely uh, pro proposed a new concept, plug-in orchestration. Plug-in orchestration. Here is a demo of the plugin orchestration. We can take a look at this short video first. In this video, we first create a UI blocker plugin, and then we create a condition judgment. In the UI, if the UI block is true, then we will add to the to a fault inject plugin. If the result of the UI block is false. We will pass it to the Kafka plugin to record the logs. Then we can config each plugin and the judgment condition. Finally, we can use the CRL to verify, to check if the new plugin is really work on the node of the gateway. Uh, yes, it works. Uh, next, I will explain to you how this plugin orchestration is implemented. It may also be a technology issue that everyone is concerned about. Uh, to implement it, uh, the plugin orchestration, we need to take three steps. First, first uh, we need to use the DAG to describe the new plugin. We can see that the picture with the arrow on the left is actually a DAG, which is the same as the code described in the previous video. Then this is a description method that is friendly to humans. But for the computer, we have to turn it into a description language has a data structure. On the, on the right of this picture. For example, the number one node followed by two, four, six mean node one, which point to the second and the fourth and the sixth node. Um, and the value of the number three node is new, means that there is no other nodes behind the number three node, and the others are the similar. In this way, we convert a DAG into a data structure description. After have this data structure, uh, then we can convert this data structure into a JSON string. And we can pass this JSON string to the server. The JSON string on the right is converted from the plugin we saw in the video. After the step one, we already have a string described it by JSON, but how do we convert this JSON string into Lula code, which can run by API 6? We know that in API 6, we are running Lula code, not the JSON string. So we need a compiler, yes, to pass the JSON into an EST, and finally generate the Lula code. At the same time, we use the JSON schema to do this job. Below is the open source repo. After generate the Lula code, we use the API 6 control plan to write the Lula code into etcd through the admin API. And then the API 6 node of data plan can get the Lula code through watch etcd. API 6 has the ability to dynamic run the Lula code, just like serialized plugin in API 6. So the new plugin generated by plugin orchestration from DAG 
to the actually running on the data plane. All the process are dynamic, which is a very important feature of API 6. If you see this, do you have a question where can I try it? Don't worry, there is an open source project here. And we are also have an online demo. Welcome to try. And in the last part, I want to talk about our thoughts about the future of API 6 and the API Gateway. The API Gateway has existed for a long time. There have been many companies and open source projects doing API Gateway more than 10 years ago. Then in the cloud native time, API Gateway is facing changes and challenges in, from the companies. Users need high requirements and put towards for API Gateways. Um, the first one turned is that the traditional north south uh, API gateways begin to process the east and the west microservice traffic. For example, Nginx has launched Nginx Control and Nginx Unit. Kong and API 6 also act as microservice API gateway. At the same time, the east west service mesh projects also trying to act as the north source access API gateway. So for the open source projects, all of them want to process for traffic. Open source projects about process traffic are blaming now. We can say Baidu's BFE and the Alibaba's Mawson, they are all focused on the traffic. And the second is the low code. The best solution for API, for API Gateway is that PM and the security team can directly implement the features by plug-in orchestration so that the developers pay more attention to the API Gateway itself. In this way, the business and the core of API, API Gateway are Decoded. You can let people who don't understand the technology and the plugin development to continue to contribute plugins to open source projects. That's very important. And the third point is real time. With the population of 5G and the IoT and the landing of Kubernetes in the enterprise, it has put forward very high requirements for the real-time effort of configurations, the process of requirements, requests, and the real-time data analysis. For the gateway, if you cannot real-time and the very high performance and the very low latency, then this project will be done in the next three or five years. Um, then the last but not the least is open source. We can say software is eating hardware and the open source software is eating the world. In the end, all the infrastructure softwares are open source. The same situation is true for the API 6. Open source allows companies to use it at a low cost without worrying about vendor lock-in. Moreover, the commercial opportunities for open source will also bring more to open source developers. This is a good model for a win-win situation. And uh, finally, I hope everyone will pay attention to API 6. API 6 is a cloud native API gateway. Thank you all.
Ah, yes. Uh, APSX, uh, APSX is our open source project, and uh, AWS API Gateway is not open source. It's the uh, uh, first different. And the second is that uh, APSX is can deployment in uh, the private cloud, but the AWS is uh, uh, API Gateway in the, only in the public cloud. And if you use API 6, you don't need to worry about the vendor lock-in. But if you use AWS, you only uh, can use his API gateway in AWS cloud. You cannot use it in the Google or microservices gateway, Microsoft's gateway. Yes. It's, um, also, the question between the open source project and the public uh, cloud project. You're welcome. <laughs>